Today we're going to talk about the perfect paradox for Destiny 2 and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. Now back in September when Destiny 2 had started, we as a community were kind of set on the weapons that we wanted to use in the game, and that was due to playing the beta. Probably the most used power weapon in the beta was the main ingredient fusion rifle, and many would agree. Fast forward to the release of Destiny 2, we had a lot more options for power weapons. However, a lot of the weapons, even till today, aren't even used, and that's due to their useless perks that are okay, but nothing groundbreaking. Out of all the shotguns in the game, only one stood out a lot in PvE as well as PvP, and that was the Hawthorne's Field Forge shotgun. This shotgun was probably the best for anything you needed a shotgun for. But then, the Curse of Osiris came, and a new champion had to take its place. Saint-14 Shotgun, The Perfect Paradox The Perfect Paradox outclasses the Hawthorne's Field Forge Shotgun in most stats and perks like it's cool. Let's take a look at the stats. Now the Perfect Paradox maxes out its RPM at 100, it has an impact of 65, a range of 34 which can be extended, a stability of 42, a reload speed of 68, and a handling of 49. As for its hidden stats, we have a zoom of 12, an inventory size of 54, an aim assist of 70, and a recoil direction of 61. Now in order to actually get this shotgun, you need to complete a specific amount of prophecies with Brother Vance. If you haven't gotten the shotgun yet, then my advice is to complete all the prophecies that Brother Vance has available for that week. So yes, there is going to be a lot of grinding involved, but believe me, it is well worth it. Eventually, you'll be given another prophecy called Verse 10. This prophecy actually gives you the sword, however, once you complete Verse 10, then you will be given a quest called Another Verse. After completing the entire quest, you will have to forge the perfect paradox. As for its intrinsic perk, we have Rapid Fire Frame, which fires full auto with deeper ammo reserves. Then we have Faster Reload when weapon is empty. As for the barrels, we have Full Choke, Rifle Barrel, as well as smooth bore, and for the magazine we have flared magwell, steady rounds, accurized rounds, and for the trait we have rampage, which kills with this weapon temporarily grant increased damage, and it stacks up to three times. Mine has a void damage mod on it, which gives it a plus five attack, and I also put metro shift on it because it looks pretty badass. As you can see from the gameplay, this weapon is a beast. It destroys a mayhem, and speaking of mayhem, if you guys want to know what is the best anti-meta subclass for the mayhem game mode, then you can find out by clicking on the annotation at the top of the screen. As I was saying, this shotgun is a beast. It melts yellow bar enemies in PvE, and its kill time is deadly quick in PvP. In mayhem, I was able to kill several enemies that were in their super with so much ease. I even told my clan members while we were playing that I really felt like I was a bully, and it wasn't fair to the other team. The fact that the Perfect Paradox has the Rampage perk, which stacks three times, doesn't help anyone on the receiving end of the barrel either. Once the dawning ends next week on Tuesday, and the Power Ammo Timer returns to normal, I feel that we will see a lot more shotguns than we will see the crazy amounts of colonies running around. When compared side by side with the Hawthorne's Field Forge shotgun, they both have the same impact and zoom. But, the Perfect Paradox has the Hawthorne shotgun beat in RPM, stability, reload speed, magazine size, and aim assist. However, don't count the Hawthorne shotgun out just yet because it does have higher range, which is huge when it comes to shotguns. And it does have more handling, and it has one less point in recoil direction as well, even though that one point really doesn't mean much. Yes, range is the primary issue with the Perfect Paradox. Even after you max out the Perfect Paradox range as much as you can, the Hawthorne's Field Force Shotgun still has more range, and that's actually a deal breaker for most Guardians that like to use a good shotgun. As of this video, according to Destiny Tracker, there is a reason why the Perfect Paradox ranks in the number 49th spot in PvP weapons versus the Hawthorne Shotgun, which is at number 82. That reason is because the Perfect Paradox is simply better all around. 
To compensate for the range on the perfect paradox, you need to use this gun from close to mid ranges. I wouldn't suggest going in for a kill unless you can close the distance between you and your opponent. So my advice to you is to slow the enemy's movements first with grenades, tethers, snares, etc. Or you could just close the gap by blinking, if you are a warlock. Another option that I don't really suggest but it still happens is hiding like a little puss until the enemy runs by you and then shoot him. A kill is a kill, right? No, there's no skill in hiding just to get a kill, and it's pathetic and the community looks down upon it tremendously. Personally, I put my Hawthorne's Field Force shotgun in the vault, and I use the Perfect Paradox for a shotgun in PvE and PvP no matter what. The Perfect Paradox is perfect for every PvE and PvP situation that you can think of, including on bosses, except for Callus. I feel that the Perfect Paradox is the superior shotgun, and that's not just because of its ranking. I mean, the gameplay speaks for itself. If you guys can get your hand on the Perfect Paradox, then keep it. Like seriously, keep it. Unlike these spikes, aka Eugene, you would make Saint-14 proud knowing that you wield a weapon of true greatness. So, what do you guys think of the Perfect Paradox? Do you guys enjoy it in PvE or PvP? Do you think that it's worth the grind? or? Would you settle for Hawthorne's Field Force Shotgun due to the range? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.